For real oh. fans, real talk, that's a championship. See you next year. <laughs> First of all, you know that's exclusive right there because they don't even do that. You might not have that in your 2K game right there, but real fans, real talk game, they come where they say all the announcers, they say real fans, real talk in there. But that, that's best edition. Y'all going to learn about that later on <laughs> when, when, you, when you learn more about the game of uh, 2K. But definitely a great weekend, uh, great charity event. Um, we, we're glad we were able to link up with, with Mace again for this one. Glad we were able to get over to the Barclays Center. Um, they reached out to us after last year's tournament and asked us to host the finals over there at the Barclays Center. And if the Barclays Center calls you, you don't say no. So we had to go over there and uh, and make it happen. Um, but we are back. We do, you know, you guys know boxing is, uh, is is one of our favorite sports on the show. That's why we always have the gloves up there on the set. You guys know we're affiliated with uh, Ranked in New York, a uh, boxing charity out of the Bronx, and they uh, raise f uh, funds for fighters that are falling upon hard times. So you guys know how important boxing is to us over here at Real Fans Real Talk. So when we had a Golden Gloves champ, uh, in in the area, he's in, in New York for a couple of days. Uh, we had to, we had to bring him on to the set so we could talk a little bit of shot with him. But just introduce yourself to the world. My name is Joseph Ed Ortiz. I'm from Redding, Pennsylvania. Okay. And um, I'm a two and zero pro as of now. And you are also a Golden Gloves champion. Yes, I was. I up in the amateurs. Okay. And uh, you also uh, you qualified for the, the the Olympic trials. You did that. Yeah. I um I didn't qualify for the Olympic you trials. I um. But I did, I did try out. Okay, all right. And then um, now, uh, sorry. So two and zero right now. First fight, thirty eight second knockout. Yes, sir. What uh, what weight class are you fighting in? One twenty six. One twenty six. Okay, all right. So first of all, how was it the transition from Golden Gloves to Pro? Um, transition. Um, well, the headgear comes off, you know. So it's um. Well, yeah. Yeah, you get punch start a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta be a little bit more careful, you know. Okay. And um, the gloves get smaller. The gloves get smaller, and you know you just gotta pace yourself a little bit. And the amateurs, is, you know, uh, the point system, you gotta let your hands go. And in the pros, you you can sit down and you punch a little bit more and just take your time. Okay. Now you said you're from Pennsylvania. Are you an Eagles fan by any chance? No, no, no. I'm actually a Colts fan. I like the Colts. Okay. You know next, next time you're in yeah. Philadelphia, make sure you fight <laughs> someone from Philly who's an Eagles fan, because they'll be throwing right. snowballs <laughs> at me. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not definitely not. At all. <laughs> yeah, saying I don't know why why would they do that, uh, but I mean it's the Eagles, and that's probably why they have no Super Bowl rings, and probably why they won't have any Super Bowl rings. Well, I make sure point. of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why it's the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you are all the best, said Um, who, who, if any, would you say uh, your fighting style mimics? Um. I try not to get into that so much. I try to just, you know, be myself, just um, do my own thing, carry my myself, you know, the way I just be different. I just want to be different. Okay. When is your next fight? We're um we're lining something up for January. We don't got an exact date as of now. Okay. But um January is the um is the month we're gonna get back in the ring. Okay. What's the uh, what's the training uh, regimen like? Training um you know just wake up early. Wake up early, go get the miles in, come back home, rest up a little bit, get back in the gym about like four o'clock. Okay. And um, you know, just just train hard. You know, it's a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice goes along with that. You know, um, early nights. You know, can't go out do party and stuff. Do what you you know what I mean. You got your friends and stuff. Want to yeah. hang out and stuff. You know, you gotta and then you gotta diet too. You gotta watch it, what you eat and stuff like that. So it's um, it's a lot of sacrifice and dedication in the sport. So you changed weight classes? I mean, um, I, I started out in the amateurs at 130, but I'm making the transition to 126 because so I was making the weight real, real easy. I actually weighed in 129 my last fight, so we figured, you know, get them extra pounds off. So you, you, you'd you rather stay at a, at a lower uh, yeah. weight as opposed to going up and, and yeah. okay. So no milk and cookies on the diet. No milk and cookies, no milk and cookies. All for you, Sam. <laughs> He'll give them all for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely a good one. I got to... Um, all right, there's a there's a lot right now going on um, in the sport of of boxing. I want to ask you about the, the little bit. Um, we just had recently. We had a couple actually, a couple of big fights. We had the this this year. We had a uh, Mayweather McGregor go uh -huh. down this year. We had a uh, Canelo uh, fight Triple G uh -huh. uh, this year. Um, now De La Hoya recently said he wanted to get back in the ring and uh, fight McGregor. Right. Um, <laughs> 
I just want to know, uh, you know, what's your, what's your thoughts on De La Hoya thinking he can come back in the ring as a nah, professional man. fighter? Is it over for him or does he have a chance? Yeah, I think it's over for him, man. He um, he just stick to promoting. He making good money. He, he don't, he don't need all that. Yeah, <laughs> I, would, I would have to agree with you. Right. <laughs> I thought you know De La Hoya was a little crazy when he made those statements, but I I needed to hear it from a professional uh, right. fighter right, right, right. To, uh, to see exactly <laughs> you know what, what was going on in in his mindset. Um, but now you. Did, you did mention, uh, you know, De La Hoya being a promoter, and um, you know we've seen promoters and you know how they deal with with fighters, you know, and, and which is one of the reasons why a charity like Ring Ten exists. Um, so, how do you handle as far as dealing with promoters and, and managers and, and that kind of thing? Dealing with, um, actually, at the moment, I only got a manager because, like you said, like promoters is real. Um, Real skeptical, you know. You mm. got, it's real funny when it comes to um, the business side. So, we um, we just doing our own thing right now, racking the wins, and we'll get. You know, we got a couple offers. We got a couple offers and stuff like that. But we want <coughs> we want to see what's the um, what's the best offer. You know, we want to. We don't want to settle for nothing that we don't want to settle for nothing right now. Mm. And then you know, down the line, we get a better offer, and we're like, oh man, we should. You know I'm saying we should have took that one. So you kind of take it fight by fight. Yeah, fight by fight. You know what I'm saying we we're not rushing nothing right now. Okay. How how long have you uh, been boxing? Um, I've been boxing. I first my family, my um, my uncle, my dad, and my brothers. They um, they was boxers in, in Puerto Rico. That's where I'm originally from. Okay. And um, I was always I was always in the gym with them. You know, I always followed them to the gym. Always in the bag and stuff like that. But what happened was like when my when my parents separated, I came okay. to the states. My mom didn't like boxing. She said, "No, nah, like you not you not gonna get in the ring. You won't get hurt." And so you know what I'm saying. I kept begging her because every summer I go to um Puerto Rico. Okay. And I see them doing that, you know, my brother getting all the attention and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I turned about 14, 15, I kept asking my mom, kept nagging her and stuff, and she, um, she finally said, all right, go ahead, hit the gym. And ever since, you know what I'm saying, I just stood with it. Well, you, you got a golden gloves, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. out of it. Yes, so I guess you made the right decision. Um, and you did say you are from, uh, Puerto Rico originally, yes, um, how how are things? Because uh, we you know we we, we had the the natural disaster over right. here. Um, have you been back since the natural disaster? I haven't or? been back, but um, my father and my family still live over there. So you mm -hmm. know, I, um, it's it's getting better day by day. You know what I'm saying? I, um, there was a time where I couldn't contact them at all. Now you know what I'm saying? Now I could reach out to them and talk to them and stuff. You know. Okay, so that's it. That's 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 what it's about, and we got to continue, guys. Um, just you know, you guys can look up. There's a whole bunch of different organizations that uh, you can either you can donate uh, supplies or money or whatever to help with the with the relief over in uh, in Puerto Rico. Um, I just did an event. Uh, about a week ago where we were raising funds for for puerto rico so and they, and they definitely need help there's a lot of places i mean throughout the country houston as well um they they're still still need, in need of some assistance so you know whatever you guys can do especially this time of year is christmas you know so any any help that you guys can actually offer at home just you know and they need i mean things from batteries to you know to, to tissues to food whatever it is they can use uh everything you know right now right. In, in puerto rico so whatever you guys can do um you know definitely they, i'm sure that everybody will be greatly appreciative of of whatever donations that you guys can give all right santa uh what, what, what we got what we got next donation? you got you have any more questions yeah well um <laughs> Do you scout your opponents beforehand? So you have a quick knockout. You're lighter in the weight class, and you usually don't see knockouts in that. So did you kind of get a feel for your opponent watching videos, or did you just practice on your own thing and that's it? Yeah, I mean, right now in this stage of my career, since this is, you know, just the beginning, um, a lot of guys aren't that recognized. You know, they don't have a lot of tapes up and stuff like that. So usually you just got to train hard and um, just be prepared for anything, you know, because... You know, and uh, um, as you come up, these guys are recognized and they got big names and stuff. So a lot of people know about them. They got videos out there. They're, they're well recognized. But right now, you know what I'm saying, it's just you just train as hard as you can and go in there and do what you got to do. And is your manager your trainer too? or No, my manager is just my manager. I, um, I got my trainer, you know. 
Now, do you keep your entourage of like thirty guys with you? No, no, and no. And then you take them all out to eat no, and after no, the fight to the club. All right, just making sure because I know. Small, yeah, small. you got to keep you got to keep, keep it small. Circle. Keep the business on on, on point. Yes, all right, listen, you know, and it, it's crazy, but the 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 stories that we hear about these boxers, you know, after their career is done. I mean, it, first of all, it's one of the most punishing sports ever. Um, you know, so a lot of guys, you know, they mentally. And physically, by the time they finish with their with their careers, they you know, they they're in a lot of trouble. So, you know, I know that's the one thing that uh, sh uh shout out to uh to Aaron Davis, uh former welterweight champion right. of the world. Um, you know, he he told us plenty of times how he actually he was fortunate enough that he had the right people in his corner helping him out. You know, with all his financial situations to the point where now he's still living off of the the money that he made sure. from uh from his career in boxing. But we you know we have a, a lot of other boxing friends that's affiliated with the show as well, and they you know they didn't make that that right transition. So you know just if I could give you that that advice, just keep you keep on your business, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. You got to do that because if you're not on top of it, ain't nobody gonna right. be on right. top of it. Right. All right. But uh, we still we still got a, a lot more going on. We got uh Miss Tatiana Owen. She's gonna she's gonna bless that stage one more time uh, for us. Uh, Santa, man. I mean. This is this is just crazy. What's going on? It's Christmas, you know. <clears throat> shout out to shout out to um to, to everybody that's on the set with us today. We like to do do something special for the Christmas show. That's why we we had to we had to singing earlier. You know, we got the chant with us. We got Anthony Mason Jr. on, on the set, so we got a whole lot going on. We go we gonna close out the show. <coughs> and here's your gift too, Trip. I know you were jealous when you saw I you me. Dad on right that that shoe, you me. know. And Ladybug, here's one for you too. <laughs> but uh, but uh, we got uh, Tatiana Owen. And she's going to close us out We about to get it rocking in here I'm going to have to go live again Let me get my live ready <laughs> All right And uh, Cliff, you, you you just rock it out, man Thank you guys Happy holidays Merry Christmas Ho, ho. Our dogs and you chasing the rain being so fast, we love the chase. Hang on to every word you say. But I'm not thinking with my head. Everybody knows, everybody knows that you get the feeling like you're floating on air. People all around, people telling me I should listen. Should I let you take me there? Tell me, is it a crime to love you the way that I do? I know it ain't right to give my all when that's all that I could lose. And maybe I should put up a fight trust in you. But I don't care, I want to dare to skydive into you, 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 you. They think I'm too naive for this. You could deceive me with a kiss. A kiss I'll miss if I didn't try So I'll be yours if you say I'm mine Everybody knows, everybody knows that you get the feeling Like you're floating on air People all around, people telling me I should listen Should I let you take me there? Tell me is it a crime to love you the way that I do? I know it ain't right to give my all when that's all that I could lose. And maybe I should put up a fight trust in you. Hey, but I don't care. I want to dare to skydive into you. I could throw away the rules And I might seem like a fool But I'm not afraid to take a chance on you 
Is it a crime to love you the way that I do? I know it ain't right to give my all when that's all that I could lose. And maybe I should put up a fight, trust in you. Hey, but I don't care. I wanna dare to skydive into you, baby. Is it a crime to love you? But I don't care, I want to dare to skydive into you, 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 you. <laughs> I'm dealing with on Real Fans, Real Talk. That's how we roll, okay? Shout out to Tatiana Owens. Give me your Instagram one more time. My Instagram is Tatiana, at Tatiana Owens, T-A-T-I-A-N-A Owens. <laughs> All right. And everything, all social media sites. And make sure y'all follow her at everything. All that she just said, Tatiana Owens, all right, because she can sing, and uh, that's how we uh, that's how we roll. All right. So uh, that's uh, real fans, real talk. Christmas gifts to our audience, right there, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you for joining us. It's great to be back. Another year here on Real Fans, Real Talk. I'd like to thank Anthony Mason Jr. and his family on Three Foundation for the kids. Our pro boxer, our musical guests, and of course, Trip Young. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Real Fans Real Talk.